Well, welcome. It's Ruben from Ann Arbor saying hello and happy Friday. I'm glad we can spend this time together. It's time to change my shoes. What is it about color that can change our mood into something dark? Something bright and blue. I'm working on a character, Olivia, in my opera, and she is like the antithesis of the main character, the main female protagonist, Lena, Marilena, who is just this person who also has asthma that Santiago meets in the hospital, in the respiratory ward, and they're both getting treated for asthma, starting from age five, and the relationship over the opera, it grows until their teen years. And they meet Olivia, who is, has so much passion, but it's a negative passion that's consuming her. And she looks at Lena and all the love that she feels and all the, that, the positive passion, and she just doesn't understand it. How did she get to be where she is? And Lena in such a different place. It's time for coffee. When you're with friends, you gotta have some coffee. Cup for you. Cup for me. And with some color, some cranberries. to Friendship Fridays, hanging out, mm. that's good, it's a holiday rose, gotta change my hat, I think I'm gonna go with this one, there, oh the sunglasses, I gotta change those too. There they are. So. Ah, there. So now, what are you working on? What is your current project? Maybe you're just getting packages ready for Christmas that are being so carefully gifts being so carefully chosen to fit into that package with tissue paper and little notes. Maybe little treats that you've baked. I'm making little rum cakes this year. Uh, or maybe you're working on a play of your own. Or just a short poem. So, this is Olivia. And I'm doing some character studies before I write the songs for them. Although I have, them in, I have ideas for them. This is Olivia. Olivia sings her soul. Every deep, sharply felt corner of her soul. And she is absolutely positively, irrevocably, irreversibly devastated by the state of her current life. When she's done singing, she doesn't realize she's in Lena's arms. Lena desperately wanting to comfort her, to console her. So she's going to sing this song called, Where Are All My Yeses? Donde esta mi si? Todos mi si? Where are all my yeses? Quiero decir sí, claro, of course I want to say yes, pero no puedo, no puedo, no puedo hacerlo. She just can't do it. It's, she's not fighting it, it's just, it doesn't seem to be something she can summon. Yet, at the end of her song, Donde está mi sí, todos los sí, all the yeses, she finds herself sobbing in the arms of Lena, who's just patting her head and 
naughtiness. So that when we reach that point, we all do certain parts of our lives where we just don't, where we're spent. And then we look up and we see where we are. And many times we're exactly where we need to be. In the arms of someone, maybe unexpected, someone who'll comfort us. Or a place or a moment that we find ourselves in that will help us move forward. So that's where I, where I am with Olivia and her character study. Where are you in your story? Let's have another toast. I've got to drink your coffee since you're not here. So, just make sure that there's color wherever you are. Sometimes you have to create it. Find yourself. Give yourself that space. Is it in your garage, in your shed, that you're creating the space for yourself where you can work and just have the, your time? For me, you can see this is it's this park, a special place that I found. It's a shared space. It's not just mine. I think this is a refuge for many people. And on my days off, I find myself here. Where do you find yourself? So, sending you blessings for a peaceful weekend full of good coffee. Maybe little treats. Put some chocolates in there next time. We need light, don't we, wherever we are. So we have some sunlight today, some candlelight. And if, if you are in that dark space where you feel like you can't get out, or you don't see that little space where light might be coming in, remember, I know I always say it, but we are here. reach out and we reach back. We always do. And I'll see you next time. Wishing you so much peace this weekend and always. Take care. Bye-bye. I think we need some more coffee. Let's have another cup of coffee. Let's have another piece of pie. And as it gets warmer, I might have to change hats. Let's see. <laughs> Take care. Have a great weekend. Wishing you love. Mm. I can't wait to get started on my rum cakes. I'll let you know how they, they work, how they come out. It's, an, it's not a new recipe, but I'm making smaller ones. And then I'll make some without rum, because some people don't like the rum, it's too strong. Maybe we'll just pour a little brandy over the top, but certainly some candied cherries and some pineapples. Take care. Bye-bye.